Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos that you watch them, like them and especially if you subscribed. I'm truly truly grateful for that and I'm very happy that you're back. If you're new uh, I'd like to give you a big welcome and I do hope that you're gonna enjoy this reading and you'll be back for more. Today we're gonna take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of June in the areas of uh, love and relationships uh, but as usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest but let's get started in the center of your reading you do have the nine of Pentacles uh, the nine of Pentacles is all about stability independence security and and enjoying uh, life. Um, so for some of you, uh, if you're single, this card definitely indicates that you are enjoying being single and and you're not really giving up your freedom easily. You're very picky, you're picking and choosing uh, between people uh, and 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 anyway, you're you're having a good time. Uh, because you're enjoying this this independence uh, you do have. If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate that you are enjoying the fruits of the labor that you put into the relationship. For some of you, it might be an indication that uh, you do have a partner who is allowing you to be free, uh, pursue your uh, dreams, and supports you fully uh, in all of that. Um, but let's uh, see what else we have here. Your reading starts uh, with the tower. Uh, now the tower is something that um, I think you have already went through this. Uh, it, it, it's a big change. It's a, it, 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 it's a big sudden change that shakes your world. But, but it's, it's, at the end of the day it's a relief because it frees you from the present from uh, the situation that you were in. Um, now, for some of you, uh, when you kind of translate it into uh, uh, the relationship, this might be an indication that maybe you went through a hard time in your relationship and this relationship might have suddenly ended. Uh, you might have gone through a breakup, divorce, take it as it resonates. Um, but uh, the tower not uh, always in the, is an indication of a breakup or a divorce. Uh, simply it can mean uh, that uh, the relationship went through a very very rough upheaval uh, where things are changing, you're working through the issues and once you work through the issues practically this relationship is no longer the same relationship you are, it's, it's a totally new one. If you're single uh, the tower can indicate some kind of a situation when you um, when you went through something uncomfortable and but through this uncomfortable situation you discovered what is the reason why you're single uh, and and this actually <coughs> frees you and and this experience allows you to make some the changes that you require in order to attract uh, the partnership, the love that you are looking for. Uh, the next card we have here is the star, uh, which is very interesting because if you look at uh, the tower is number f uh, 16 and the star is 17. The star is always coming in, in, in the tarot after the tower, which means that, you know, obviously the tower has this disruptive energy. And, and you have to heal, you have to recover from all that disruptive energy that the tower brings in. And that's what, what the star is. The star is all about hope, recovering, wish fulfillment. And, and, and this is the calm time after the storm, what the star, tower brought into you. So what that can mean for you in terms of a relationship i think you're definitely recovering from your uh, uh, from the issues you had in, in in the relationship or the breakup uh, you went through um if you're single you are 
practically ready to let go of all the baggage uh, that you have uh, and and start new start fresh with with somebody else uh, for some of you uh, this can be an indication that maybe somebody from the past is trying to come back to you and and rekindle the love maybe your ex is trying to uh, uh, find um, their way to you uh, but generally this is a card that indicates that it is a perfect time to meet somebody new if you are still in the relationship and you kind of and the relationship survived the tower moment that can indicate that uh, the relationship is healing and it is actually getting better getting deeper uh, and the next card we have here is the king of wands the king of wands is this sexy energy like he is very optimistic he's very energetic he's very confident funny and charming uh, and, 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 and 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 but he can be a little bit hot tempered and, and, and controlling as a as well and he's very attracted to uh, women or other people that are uh, independent that are not clingy because if you're clingy that totally turns the king of wands uh, off and it's very interesting that you do have the nine of pentacles who represents somebody who's very independent so i think this uh, might be actually a good match because uh the king of wands is looking for somebody who is 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 very independent uh but but generally um this, it can be somebody who's very warm and very protective now if you're single uh what this card is telling you that you need to find some time in your life for love maybe you're too busy with other things you're too busy with work uh and 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 you and you need to really uh focus on getting some some more time to to actually meet somebody and get yourself out there the next card in uh, this spread is the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is the card of stability the card of security uh, where you are really creating a legacy uh, for yourself this is uh, something that is stable something a uh, long term something that has a solid foundation so if you're in a relationship i think this is the kind of relationship you're in this relationship has solid foundations this is a, this is kind of like the conventional family values uh, where you're practically you're taking the next step it can be engagement it can be a marriage it can be even having children because usually this card has children on it but it can be also of moving in with each other and buying a house because both the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles can be an indication of purchasing some kind of a property uh, together uh, for some of you this can be a uh, a card that can indicate that maybe you are uh, you and your partner are coming from different backgrounds and that can cause uh, some some challenges but if you're single this card is uh, showing that a new love is coming into your life that is based on traditional values and the next card we have here is the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles is all about feeling lack of something when you're feeling alone you're feeling uh, that you're not enough maybe you are um, kind of still um, having the effects of the tower moment that you went through and 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 you, you you're still recovering you're still healing and your healing is not uh, fully um, done for some of you this can be an indication that maybe you and your partner are going through some financial issues and that is impacting the relationship um, 
for some of you, because you know, you have this independent woman here, uh, this can be an indication as well that maybe you do, you are a single parent and, and you are raising your children alone and, and you have some struggles with it. Now, the other indication of this card can be that maybe you do have some illegitimate children. I don't know if that's uh, an issue these days. But the only reason I'm kind of saying it because you do have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is all about traditional values. And, and maybe that's causing some, some challenges for you. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the message has resonated with you. And it also helps me to, to increase the channel and make sure that the message goes out to more people. And for you, that's just a click of a button. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, I'm happy to read in the comments as well what's going on in your life. So you do have the Five of Swords. Uh, and you do have two fives uh, that are kind of uh, indicating some changes. The five of swords is, is generally uh, indicates some kind of a conflict, something that uh, is rooted in lack of communication. So maybe you're going through with your partner some kind of uh, challenges where you need to communicate a little bit better. Uh, but generally, like in you know, the five of swords is, is, um, is this energy where uh everybody's trying to win and somebody is is really um losing somebody is giving it up and somebody is re uh, retreating uh it can be a card that can mean cheating as well so i don't know if that's and it's kind of connected to the tower to a certain degree so i'm not sure if that's gonna resurface or not um but but it's 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 possible uh, and then the next uh, in this row, we do have the, te the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is, is hard work in a teamwork. So this can be uh, a sign that you are working with your partner. You are putting a lot of effort to make this relationship work. You are learning each other more. Maybe a council is helping you to uh, get over the problems you have with each other. Uh, and and if, if you're in a new relationship, this is definitely one of those periods where you are figuring each other out. Um, and then let's see what is the last card. It is the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is all about protection, protecting yourself, protecting whatever you have, you protecting the relationship and fighting for it. So in some instances, this can be that third parties might be attacking the relationship. Now, this third party can be really anything, right? It can be somebody who is trying to, um, trying to get your partner to cheat uh, on with them. It can be somebody... Uh, other members of the family who are talking about uh, oh, do you really want this person in your life so it can be it can be the in-laws it can be uh, anything especially that you know the reason I'm kind of feeling that because you do have the ten of pentacles which is all about family values and and and, and somebody is feeling lack here due to those family values so I think that there's something uh, a, a, around that um, and uh, um, when you look at really the bottom of the deck, uh, we do have the Eight of Cups, which means that you're going to walk away from something. So I think you're going to leave something behind to kind of find your uh, happiness. Uh, but, but I think uh, overall, I see uh, some healing, a lot of work uh, being put into something uh, and, and, um, and recovering from this tower moment so that's all i have have for you i hope that this uh, uh reading helped you and i'll see you again